Well, I was going to show you, but it's gone now. Hey, everyone. How's it going today? Well, guess what I just did? <laughs> I, uh, worked all day, got home, they delivered our new washer, and, uh, they couldn't remove the old one because it wasn't, um, their brand or whatever, so... When my husband left and went to a baseball game or a race. I'm not sure. I think it's a baseball game, but he went out. And I got to thinking, and I was like, you know, I'm sure there's some women out there that would be kind of mad about that. Like, uh, we kind of need to get this big heavy object out of here. But let me tell you something. I got... The washing machine from the laundry room all the way through the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, out the front door, down the walkway, and to the curb. And I was going to come out here and show you, but we have some people that keep picking up uh, metal stuff. So we got a... We got rid of, <laughs> of our uh, old washer, praise the Lord. It's kind of funny, but okay. Um, and I installed the new one. Now, the problem is, is there is a leak in the hot water hose, so I need to get a Y adapter. But once I get that and get that all put together, then I'll be able to wash my clothes. But... I can't, like, listen, I was really, really tired, okay? I'm not even joking. I had, the back of my shirt was probably soaked in sweat. That's disgusting, I know, but I have to be real. <laughs> it was really hot and just, you know, afterwards. But boy, did I feel really good. Like, I felt like a warrior. I texted my husband, I was like, man, I feel like a warrior. I feel like I can do anything. Like... I, I drug that big old washing machine through almost my entire house down the ramp, which, like, I don't know if it shows, but, you know, sloped down the ramp through the grass, which I managed to somehow not tear up the grass, which right there for me is an accomplishment because, uh, I don't know how I manage that one but I had it all the way to the curb I mean <laughs> it's kind of funny that it's gone like that was maybe an hour ago and somebody already came by and picked up uh yeah picked up our uh, old broken washing machine but good on them you know good for you some people do that they go around they pick up people's metal and some people looking for wood you know, whatever, but I want to say that, ladies, you can do anything. You, it's not, this, this isn't like a you don't need a man kind of thing, which you don't. You shouldn't feel like you need a man to be happy or someone else to be happy, but you can do anything. I mean, even, even fellas. Even, you know, if you're a little short or if you're a little extra skinny or whatever. It doesn't matter. Whoever is listening to this, you can do anything. And if you're not sure, take an old washer, pull it towards you, get it on, like, its front two, it's not really legs, but the front two corners, and you just kind of shimmy it. And I take it through the whole house take it outside, take it, you know, around the block if you want, but, I mean, that was really empowering, <laughs> after I was done, I was really tired and sweaty and nasty, but you know what, I felt so good, like, I just felt really like, man, I can do anything, I felt like a warrior, so, you know, taking out an old clunky, washing machine might seem daunting might seem like you need 
you know, five people to do it. But let me tell you something. This woman did it all by herself. And so can you. And I'm not just talking literally. I mean metaphorically, too. You can handle it. You can... God will give you the strength to handle it. You know, I was just talking to my friend the other day about how I find myself every year, just about every year, um, sorry, the wind is blowing, I'll see if I can kind of guard the mic there, um, but I find myself just about every year falling into a pit of depression, and when I'm in the middle of a depression, that's when my anxiety gets heightened quite a bit, and, uh, you know what, though, that's not what God's plan is for me. And that's not what God's plan is for anybody. He did not design us to feel depressed all the time. He did not design us to feel anxiety all the time. Those are lies that are coming straight from the devil. And I'm calling I'm calling it out right now. I have said it before, but I'm holding on to it now. I am claiming defeat over depression and anxiety in my life because I'm done with it. I'm done feeling, you know, once a year getting depressed. Are you kidding me? Like, come on now. What, you know, the joy of the Lord, this joy that I have, you know, I've got the joy, joy, joy down in my heart. That is what God comes from God, not anxiety, not fear, not sadness, depression, loneliness. That is not from God. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not from your Heavenly Father. Those are lies. And the more that you accept your diagnosis, the more you're letting the wrong person control your life. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. Those are lies. We were not born to feel yucky all the time and to be upset all the time and walk around in misery and pain. No, 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 no. Three nails. Three nails, a crown of thorns, a lot of bloodshed took that all away for us. And... You know, if you want to be free from it, if you are tired of being weighed down with all of your problems and all the things that are stressing you out, you know, come talk to me. Talk to somebody that you might feel a little more comfortable with, but talk to somebody that knows the Lord that, you know, will be able to, you know... Reedify it for you. Re, re, and that's not the word. What? I can't find my words right now. <laughs> I'm still a little like hyped up, I think. But reiterate. Find somebody that will just reiterate that for you because you need to feel the goodness that God can give you. You need to dwell on that. You need to hold on to all the good things. And, you know, Nope, I am not letting the enemy claim my life anymore. I'm not letting him defeat my mind with anxiety and depression. And that might be something that he used before to get to me. But I'm not going to allow it anymore. God is going to give me the strength and he can give you the strength too. So... All of this just from a washing machine, but man, that felt good. <laughs> that really felt good. So get yourself an old washing machine, tug it around a little bit, and you'll feel you'll feel pretty good too. You'll be tired, maybe a little sweaty and nasty, but you're gonna feel good. All right, I hope you all have a good day and reclaim your life.
depression, anxiety. Bye. See you.